twist on there. But actually, you could bash this with the pot yesterday. That's a knot to the stick. Right, anyway, so next, let's just fix it a bit more now. So I don't want, I want to stop it from wobbling. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just get some heftier chunks, really. Fix that off. Again, it's fine as long as the stuff you're using is not too sticky. Yeah, it, you know, if you get a sticky mess, then you, you're going to be. That's it. Yeah, so there's a twist at the bottom there. It's just off. So if I hold, hold steady, so it's swinging round. Nibbing off that bit, and that's fine. So you actually take the twist off, are you? That's the idea. Right. Just take away, because what did I need? A left hand inch base would have been my usual. There we go, it's lovely. Take away the weight. Almost a reflow on that section. See, that's nice. Yeah. Ooh. Come here. Da, 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 da. Pushed a little bit too much with my fingers. And then just push on. And then just finish off integrating. The kidney is a wonderful turning tool. To you really need to keep hold of your own kidney. Don't get all these horrible stainless steel ones, they're useless. Get a proper blue steel, look after it, label it nicely, keep keep it in the top, you know, in, in your overalls and always keep it there. Because the, the longer you use it, the sharper it'll be it'll get. And it really turns into a wonderful tool. I've seen more accidents, however, with one of these getting bigger cuts with one of these in the than any other tool. But they are tremendous. When you've got a bit of a wobble on it, how do you keep the, the, the foot um, the same thickness the whole way around because what I found sometimes doing it if you've got a bit of a wobble on and you're too strong with it you, your, your foot will be this thick and then to be yeah it is it's tricky I mean I really made sure it was fixed that head was fixed mm. and, which, and that pad that I made is quite soft so this is really softened into that um, it's tricky keep your fingers on did you see my hand on the side of it when yeah. I was turning I was keeping it so it was steady a little the cinema pressed against it to hold it because I'm turning against, against the other direction. Um, it's hard, it's all the hardest. Uh, I can't 
the sky and stuff. You, you get a feel for it. It's a bit like I was saying about, <coughs> about the um, little circular padding or something you can rotate. Um, sponging down is good. The problem is when you've got grogged clays, it can bring, <coughs> it can bring the, um, the grog to the surface, which is not great. Um, it's one of the reasons, one of the, the nice things about porcelain is you can sponge down the surface. And then, uh, so I'm just tidying it up. I don't really want to drag the sponge over the rim <coughs> there, but I can certainly just tidy that up a little bit. See, I just bashed it for the tool. That's all right. It's fairly standard. You're quite like the tool. So if you'd made that at home, would you have scrapped it, or would you have tried to turn that nick out? Um, I would probably have scrapped it. I would have scrapped it, um, Bad jokes. I'm really it. Oh dear, yeah, bury him in the woods, you know. It's, it's just, <laughs> okay. you've got to be, you've got to be a bit careful. Um, you've got to remember, when you commit something to firing, you, you've made something that's going to last forever. You know, so... <coughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean, because yeah. it's right, most, yeah. it goes in that ground. Yeah. 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 Um, so you ought to be... I'm all for people saying, box, particularly if it's a landmark, you've got to a certain point. That's great, but really, you know, aim for learning to throw before committing to fire. Yeah. yeah, and even if I do a big batch of work, I'll weed through the batch of day and probably discard the ones that just aren't up to scratch. It's just not worth it. And constantly cull as you go through. So by the time you can, by the time you control fairly adequately, you're back to the beginning again because you've never glazed anything. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. You need to learn to glaze. It's, it's a delicate balance. I mean, the Irish courts, which this clay, which clay college is based on, they don't keep any work for a year. Right. Now, I think that's a big part of course, because as you've said, they need to learn glazes yeah. and firing. So yeah. you kind of need to spine stuff. And it's nice to see how you're coming on as well. well. It is, it is, absolutely, yes. yeah, totally. It's so, always, always keep something from the early stages, yeah. and then you can see a year yeah. later yeah, yeah. how far have you gone. Precisely. So we're not that strict here. It's, it's things just to think about. Mm. It's just bear it in mind. It's a bit like the wedging. Just bear it in mind. Do you know you kind of should do it? Mm. You know, but we shouldn't be really drinking the entire bottle of small bottle of wine, should we? Don't <laughs> 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 tell your dad. <laughs> <laughs> what state would you rather trim to that stage or that stage? Uh, it depends on what I'm doing. I prefer it a bit softer. A little bit soft. It's, that's very, very dry. Um, Could you just run a sponge over it and plastic bag it for 24 hours and then come back to it? You can do, yeah, you can do. Um, you, what you'll find though is a lot of clays don't like being re soft. Right. They can delaminate. It depends on the clays. Um, have this with an evening class if for any reason the tech's been away and haven't wrapped up his student work the night before and it's dry. Um, it can be a problem. Some clays, yeah, you can literally immerse the whole thing in a bucket and it soften back down. And, and as you say, it can re acclimatize. <gasps> it can re acclimatize in a, um, in a plastic bag and soften down. But um, see, that's why you always keep your fingers in the way. You keep your fingers there to catch it. Yeah. Not my hand, is like a weekly pop set. You leave it a week and then you have to come back and trim it and you've got no idea what state it's going to be. Tell you what's a good thing is you know the big plastic boxes we get from Wilkinson's, the big plastic mm. boxes like that, and the lids. Upside down. Put your lid down, throw your pot on the back, put it inside the box with the lid on top. Without any water or wet sponge or anything? Yeah, you can put wet sponge in a bit of moisture. Keeps it really, really well. I used to do a Friday evening class where no one was in on the Saturday to wrap up, so I just bought loads of these plastic tubs. Mm. And on the top, and it's good. It's really great. You know, you're better off having to work too soft than too firm, because um, at least you can slowly dry it. Or, I mean, I'm, I'm constantly running at the pottery. I keep running outside with boards and pots to get them in the wind with the sunshine. Yeah. You know, that's a lovely way to do things. Mm, you know. Nice way to dry them. Um, yeah, you can use a heat pump or a blowtorch. Um, they, you know, they're excellent, they're very, very good. Um, they're, they're nice guns, those ones. Uh, I mean, I, I do have a canister of gas. 
and a fierce torch, and it does do the job better than anything else. But as a general rule with pottery, you know, letting things dry slowly is always more beneficial. As soon as you let things dry quick, you can start distorting and warping, and problems can start occurring. My first year at studio in London, <coughs> I bought a slab roller for my 30th birthday, and I made lots and lots of slabs, and left them out overnight. And the next morning, I could see where all the drafts were coming in the shed. Oh, wow. Yeah, so cracks yeah. the door, all the slabs are just lifted. <coughs> So it's fine. <coughs> I have lots and lots of old bath towels. Mm. They're the best thing. So your batch of work, you just throw a whole towel at the tank. Or if you're going away, throw a plastic bag and then the towel on top of that. And it just keeps it nice and neutral. Mm. Yeah? Is, uh, when it gets shuttering, is that generally turning into a bit too dry? Yeah, it's all the same. I find it's because the, the consistency was only turning. Is for some reason uneven. Yeah. It's that halfway step. You'll find that it's beneficial for you to actually send it to the point where, see, you're in danger of wind drying So, what you want to do as soon as the change is going to worry, but only turn between two backs. Yes. Never yeah, yeah. And then wrap it up in a bag, leave it for a day or two, it equalises, and then you can proceed to turn. Sometimes it never happens for ages, and then all of a sudden they get a whole load, and then. Yeah, it's just. I'm saying, why is that happening? Just wrap it up. Mm -hmm.